Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Now this is an interesting topic. I wanted to do a video on the cause and effect of the revived farming and how it would affect, say, a situation that I recently did. So if I did a run in EOP and it cost me 80 level 1 revives, under the, the scheme proposed, how it's going to impact me as a player. And also interesting for anybody else, uh, so this is basically the cause and effect of the nerf of the revive farming and the apothecary and also preparation in a very short space of time to do something like an EOP which is an end game piece of content or a kind of a well yeah volume three but also kind of like a, a general kind of like taking on the like content. So let's begin. The kind of idea around this particular video is to showcase as I said the impact. The main conclusions we'll come to is like it will impact on time of the player and in a nutshell for free to play it will mean that you will be investing more time into grabbing units from milestones and getting lucky with the RNG and doing 22 hour solo events having to do them in order to prepare your stash and also have units in order to back up your stash. We'll explain that particular these particular points in a minute. But let's start off with the cause and effect and then go to the impact. So cause and effect. Right. So this is all about Kabam making the changes. Like We all know this. If you've been following the channel the last 24 hours, you'll know that Kabam are going to make these changes. Obviously, we're going to say, no, we don't want these changes because nobody wants these changes or very few people want these changes. But if they do go ahead, then we've got to be prepared for the eventuality that's going to be the case. And if you do want to still continue playing the game, then you've got to find your ways, especially if you're non-spending, to find a way to save the units you require for things like July 4th deals, um, Cyber Weekend deals, other deals, in order to do the chase metas, and also being able to facilitate the extra grind required in order to do the content that's out there that's endgame um, orientated. Again, we'll talk about it, but this is cause and effect. So yeah, revive methods, uh, revive farming methods of uh, lower axe of axe uh, one to three. Um, problem, solution, command, want to take it away and it will be gone next month. Okay, uh, and look, that causes a problem. There's further problems when you consider the fact that the apothecary is, is, is not great, right? It's not great when you throw some interest, not interest, well it's not interesting, uh, interested in a negative way stats in this whole kind of thing of how Kabam see um, look, in a nutshell, they're saying get good, you know, and if you make a mistake, Kabam are like, well, okay, just spend units, spend money to get out of it, which isn't really the fun side of things. It does strip away the fun. Get good, kid. Thanks, Kabam. That's that's nice of you. But look, once per day for five days a week, you'll get one uh, level one revive. Yes, there are other chances to pick up more kind of revives from this lesser stuff here, but it's a chance. I'm not doing. I don't like dealing with with percentage chances. So let's say guaranteed you get five revives. If you're willing to do the 22 hour solo events for seven days of a week, and there's a good chance there's seven well, 7.6 solo events, 22 hour solo events that run. So it could be a case that there will be seven to eight, but what we'll do is we'll kind of go with there's seven. So this means in one given week, you as a player will be able to pick up, let's say for hell's sake, 13 revives right 13 revives okay so 13 revives you've got and again let's go with hypotheticals there's four weeks in a month so that puts you up to 52 uh revives you have 52 revives now this is the this is the scenario the cause and effect of things under the changes because then if you looked at something like eop look here's the thing if, if i'd love to be able to do eop in like itemless zero revives small amount of revives being used but ain't gonna happen right it's not gonna happen anytime soon things happen mistakes happen bugs happen animations fail on champions which are command referred to as the input issues um bunny is uh and look there's other stuff that goes on ai profiles aren't exactly brilliant when it comes to the most difficult content so here's the thing like you've got to have a look at the best way of uh, of, of dealing with this and at the same time going I needed to prepare my stash. Now, as I said in the past, I've had good runs in EOP. I've had bad runs. I've had good runs where the AI was just brilliant, flawless, responding very well. I've had bad runs where Thanos just didn't, didn't want to come at me and I wasn't able to intercept. Therefore, I wasn't able to get my indestructible. Therefore, several times I lost a good chunk of revives because the AI was just not working well enough. So I needed to create a stash. 
The worst case scenario stash creation will be about 80 revives. Or no, I say 90 revives. Uh, best case scenario, 80, uh, 60 revives. So let, let's kind of like go with, I'm going to go with 80 revives is what you need for say an EOP run. So as we said a moment ago, 52 can be got a month just by doing the solo events, 22-hour uh, solo events, and uh, and doing the apothecary. So that's 52. So therefore, you're in a deficit of um, let's let's say that's was that 28. So yeah, that's a that's a lot of revives to be in deficit of. And if you kind of go like 28 times. 40 because that's what you'll be doing you'll be you if you want to get something done in one month and this is like i did an eop run in one week this is all about doing now you could do eop run in one month you will need to get 1120 units worth of uh, of revives the level two variety so we've done the cause and effect now we need to look at the impact and the impact is as we said you will need to grind more arena in order to cover the amount of units to require and the biggest thing is going to be you losing out on your time. The part two to this particular video is the impact. So we've done cause and effect. This part two is the impact. The impact will be how much more arena you will have to grind in order to get the milestones, to get the units, in order to get uh, the units back from it. Now, yes, um, I will not include RNG from, from the battle chips and the opening arena crystals because... That means that you have to guarantee you're going to get the units you require. And yeah, in some cases, it might be like you open about five uncollected arena crystals and you get the sufficient amount of units you, you need to kind of save you a heck of a lot of time. But it's like that's not guaranteed for everybody. There's still an RNG chance to it. So let's go with guaranteed. OK, guaranteed will be where you get units. Funnily enough, um, of the 1,120 you need, which if you divide by two, you get 560. If you're able to do some of the trials, uh, you, what is it, like up to milestone 20 and the basic arena up to the final point and the featured um, and featured and basic, whatever it is, up to the final point, it will be 570 units you get, which is great because then that kind of balances into the 560 you need per um, per kind of like arena to do it. So it's like in two arena cycles, you better get it. Now, not everybody can do that. Not everybody wants to do that. And also, nobody, like, not everybody has the time for it. And that could be the thing. You might have to invest a lot more time into getting this. Now, it's been a little while since I've excessively grinded down to Arena to get stuff. I probably will after my uh, I finish my EOP. So I'm going to start getting some ideas of perspectives of time frames as to grind. Uh, but I've mainly do it as like a casual thing. It's just going to grab some units here and there and see if, I, if I'm grabbing 100 to 200 extra units uh, a week, then hey, you know, that's, that's fine. I, I, otherwise, I think I'd burn out from the grind. Which the worrying thing about this is, I kind of feel that is... That is the process. And I guess this is the impact, isn't it? Like, Kaban want you to use units more for revives and health potions and suck out any kind of opportunity for me as a non-spending player to go for chase rewards when it comes to July 4th deals and Cyber Weekend deals. What's the what's the month? It's March. So it's going to be April. A April, May, June, July. So I'll have four months to try and get 10,000. No, it won't be 10,000. It will be 18,000 plus units in order to get something that is good, that could be progressive for my roster, which will be rank 5, 6-star materials or 7-star shards and materials for it. So I'm pressured into doing that because the rewards aren't there um, for me as a non-spending player yet to go get that. Also, when it comes to deals at the end of Act 8.2, which I will need in order to get rank 5 materials to take my roster further. Because, hey, guess what? I can't spend the excessive amount of money that someone did at the banquet event in order to propel their roster forward, forward to get chase rewards, to get prestige-based champions to put them at the top area of the game, and other things as well. So I think this is where I'm going to have to go with a process I will have to up my arena grinding, but I think what I will do is make sure that I can sandwich some time wherever I can. I don't want to do it, but I think that it would be a case that I might have to do it. Unless Kabam do some work to increase the volume of space when it comes to the uh, the stash uh, under the health and energy 
for you know my non sigil account, and also what they do when it comes to the apothecary. If they indeed uh, increase, which I hope they do, I did request this. Like if they are going to go through with this one, is increase the amount of revives you're able to pick up from the apothecary, even at least like two or three more revives in here is just going to be on that same level, not same level, but it's going to be compromisable levels to at least get a higher volume to, to give you a lot of revives. Like if you do the apothecary for, what is it, 30 days times three, that's 90 revives a month. Okay, right, that's not as much as like, you know, I can get right now. But you kind of look at then if you add in solo events to that and X map solo events added into it, again, could top that up. 20, I'm at 22 hour solo events. Um, I'll have to kind of think how you'd have to do a calculation on this, but like if you kind of go, even if we go at like rough estimates of going, it's going to be about, I don't know, 40 level one revives extra on top from doing solo events, 40 times 90, 130 a month. That's still better than what Kabam are compromising. I would like more, but let's face it, this is Kabam at the end of the day. The extra part to like how I plan to kind of uh, deal with this change if it goes through is to look at stuff like energy refills and making sure I'm keeping them as much as possible and using them the most strategically way possible. What, where the strategically way will be something like returning back to event quests, uh, which is something that I don't really do. I will be going back to do it because I want to get units and that's going to have to be the thing. Normally I'd be going chapter one and chapter two in order to grab myself uh, some of the units that fall from it because it's low energy spend for maximum return when it comes to the unit. But I might have to kind of like change the way I look at it to use free energy for questing and then anything else. Uh, well, apart from doing the apothecary, I might then have to go, okay, well, uh, once I've got units from these particular event quests, which actually, funny enough, I've, I've done a good chunk of the first two, I need to kind of at least do a, do some more. It's focus them. Do an initial clear of Thronebreaker. After that, everything else, if it doesn't have units on, it's not worth grinding. Uh, and kind of, I think, treat it like that. The final point I want to make on this video is the impact is basically increasing your time. Now, I don't know the length of time just yet because I haven't like reverted to grinding more arena, so therefore I can't say whether it is or not, say, an increase of about 10 to 20 hours a month to do arena milestones. It may be yes, it may be not. It's just a case of you will be forced into that line of grinding more in arena, which isn't great when it comes to the inflation of score. So I think Kaban may have kind of made a bit of a silly with that one. But as a free-to-play player, you will feel that you're kind of forced in that particular line to grab more units. Or you'll just go, nah, this ain't for me, Chief, and you'll slow down your progress within the game. People may quit the game as a result of this. I think there's probably going to be a lot of people that kind of look at this and go, oh, do you know what? I might go outside and kind of do something a bit more interesting. But then again, we have to think about are we continuing on and the best way to grab revives under the new scheme. I hope Kabam make positive change out of this and, you know, only time will tell, right? Only time will tell. They're being pressured, of course, on making a better decision on this one. I think a lot of us are still, like myself, still flabbergasted and just I spend a lot of time open mouthed at this, go just going like, what? Why? What? How? Uh, and all those particular, um, you know, ways of description but i thought it'd be interesting to kind of like note i mean look the the conclusion of this video is get good or go out to arena to grab more units or and wait that's the thing and wait uh, a lot longer to get content done which isn't ideal especially when you're like oh i want to just rush to get this done as soon as possible which i've been very much like with eop because i need to finish that and I have a life outside of this game from a coverage from YouTube and as well from like a work perspective and enjoying the game. So I'm like, right, well, I only have a limited amount of time with the skill that I have to get this done before Act 8.2. I've got to be honest, I was happy with how things were, but Kabam weren't, which is weird when you kind of go like, check the room when like 90% of the people are happy with how the game is to a degree uh, versus like, you know, how Kabam see it and go? Oh, we'll make we'll make a, we'll make a change on this particular system. It's like, really? Could you not have just removed the kind of the the guaranteed chance of the revive down to a certain percentage that doesn't seem that it's like so overly tuned and save yourself the hassle? I don't know, man. It, it it's so weird. But we monitoring the situation. Obviously, any updates I'll let you know. That's been a video. Very interesting. Check out some other stuff on screen right now, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheers. Bye bye.